Welcome back to the Sign Now API tutorial. This section focuses on creating invites. There are two types of invites in Sign Now, which require different payloads. A freeform invite allows recipients to add their signature anywhere on a document. A role-based invite is sent when your document already contains fields and has to be filled out and signed in a certain order and in accordance with presets parameters. Prior to creating a freeform invite, remember to upload a document to your SignNow account. Check out our previous videos to see how that's done. Now open a new tab, switch to Post and specify an endpoint. Then set up the headers using your bearer token. Switch to the body of the request and specify an email address for both the sender and recipient. Note that you can only use your Sign Now login email when filling out the From section of the request. Once finished, send the request, go back to Sign Now, and reload the page. As you can see, your freeform invite has been successfully sent. Now, let's try sending a role-based invite. Start by uploading another document and adding fields to it using the method described in the previous video. Here it is. Next, we're going to invite two signers. Let's call them employee and manager to review and sign our document. To do so, update the document ID in the endpoint, open the body of the request, and specify parameters for each signer. First, let's go through the required parameters. Fill in the recipient's email address. Then, set the role ID parameter, which is a unique identifier for the signer's role. It accepts either an empty string or actual role ID as a value. Next thing we want to do is set the invite role and specify the order in which we want employee and manager to open and sign our document. The reassign parameter accepts one of two possible values, 0 and 1, and determines whether or not the recipient is allowed to pass the document for signature to somebody else. Accordingly, the declined by signature parameter, if equal to 1, adds the decline button next to the signature field. Reminder and expiration days are two optional parameters you can add in case you want to send reminders to your signers or set an expiration date for your signature invite. You can also add an extra level of security by specifying the authentication type parameter. Finally, you can create a personalized message for each recipient using the subject and message parameters. Once all the necessary parameters are set, simply hit send. Now let's head back to the developer sandbox and make sure everything is in the right place. As you can see, our role-based invites have been successfully created. That'll be all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.